we're all advised to utilize cold storage methods for optimal safety. Yet the advice stops there. Paper is too risky. Products like Bill Fodel harden operational security. But then what? Thoughts on hardened OPSEC after cold storage is put in play from Super Hornet. This is great. And uh, regarding uh, your question, the advice doesn't stop there. And we don't give advice, of course. We share what we kind of know. So first, the most important thing you do is back up your seed phrase. Back up your seed phrase. Back up your seed phrase. Say it three times. And there's many ways to do this. You can write on a phys physical piece of paper, which is a good start, but it's certainly not ideal. The paper can fade or be destroyed. And you need to also store it in a weatherproof vault. It's a big improvement. But there are options. Instead of using paper, you can engrave it in a metal plate. Engrave is an example of this. It's much more durable, but you still have to protect it from someone finding it. Uh, also keep in mind, nothing really can, ex can withstand extreme temperatures. So be careful of, of fire. And you mentioned Bill Fodel. I would avoid solutions like Bill Fodel and Crypto Steel capsules. I don't like these solutions because were, were you to assemble the letters or words together and the device holds them together, that's a problem. The order of the seed phrase is critical. If that order is mixed up, your crypto is effectively gone. And Bill Fodel and Crypto Steel capsules introduce the risk that the device holding the words together fails or you mishandle the device and the letters fall out. And if that happens, your crypto is gone. And this is why you, why would you subject yourself to such risk? But we'll talk more about that in each of his own, whatever you feel most comfortable with. We don't, we just share some of the risks for you to be aware of. So first, uh, best practice is keep backups of backups, but make sure the backups of the backups and the backups are very, very safe. And this reduces your chance of losing your crypto because something happens to your backup, you have another backup. That's good. But keep your backups in different places around the house or even in a different location altogether. For example, uh, you could have your main backup stored in your safe and then keep a backup buried in your yard, garden, outdoors somewhere, in a tree. <laughs> no, it's probably not a good idea in a tree. But And then you have your final backup stored at a loved one's home or a safety deposit box at a bank. Also make sure to secure these backups so that even if someone finds it, they won't be able to access your crypto. And one of the easiest things you can do is encrypt these backups. And that way, if your neighbor's dog digs up your backup, your neighbor won't be able to access your crypto because it's encrypted. <laughs> Enough idea. Next is this one. Have a plan against threats. So do a threat analysis and develop a plan against everything that could potentially happen. The best thing you can do is evaluate your own situation. Um, Exercise, they list out all the threats you might face, determine how big of a threat they actually are, and develop your mitigation strategies. And here's an example of a few we'll just run through real quick. First, the $5 wrench attack, attack. This is the threat that someone coming to your house and holding you or your family hostage until you give them your seed. Determine how big of a threat this is to you and your situation. And mitigation strategies include get home security, if allowed in your jurisdiction, buy yourself a home protection tool. <clears throat> I won't mention what that is. Um, and have multiple seeds and duress wallets using multi-sig or use multi-sig as well. Um, next is, this is the evil maid or evil butler attack. This is the threat of somebody who has access to your house. And if he, she finds one of your backups and takes it, again, determine if you are susceptible to such a threat, for example, do you have a maid or butler uh, or contractors or family members that come to your house? Don't leave your seed in the open where it can be picked up and see it. Mitigation strategies include locking up sensitive information, keeping it hidden in areas of the house that give no access to it, and encrypt your backups so that even if they do find it, they cannot access it. Next one is natural disaster. We spoke a lot about this. Uh, note where you live, a hurricane zone, fire zone, flood zone, etc. Make sure you have uh, a place to keep your seeds safe from hurricanes, flooding, fires, earthquakes, etc. And again, this is where your mitigation strategy of having multiple backups in place is important. Now, family and kids, they are sometimes often your biggest threats. Uh, like, like the evil maid, those closest to you have the highest chance of finding your backups. And they may not be malicious, 
but they can still expose or damage or destroy your backups. I know of one case where I'll zoom out for this, where the son of the father who had crypto backed up in the house never thought his son would steal from him. He did. He took it. And uh, again, always, always be careful. But maybe he took it by accident. Maybe it wasn't malicious. But the best mitigation strategy is to encrypt your backups and educate them, involve them in the process of protecting your backups. Family and kids are a big reason why uh, things like Bill Fodal or Capsule can be kind of messed with. Your kids can find your capsules, play with them, causing words to fall out. And once that happens, your crypto is gone. It's also <laughs> try and memorize your seed too. It's always a good backup as, if you can. And finally, yourself. Uh, the biggest risk is you compromising your own security. That's where the majority of accidents happen, everybody. It's you and nobody else. Forgetting your passwords, mishandling your backups, even death, leaving something in a backpack, backpack getting stolen. Who knows? Mitigation strategies include developing a plan, educating yourself and your loved ones, and practice, practice, practice. Absolutely critical. Plan for every eventuality. 